Okay, people, to start our self-portrait inspired by Frida Kahlo, we are going to make sure we get the image of ourselves up on our Google Chromebook, okay, by pressing the camera function. And then you're going to write your name on the back of your paper and hold it portrait style. Then you're going to zero in toward the middle of your paper and you're going to make an oval for your eye. So you're going to look at yourself on your Chromebook and you're going to notice that your eyes are shaped like almonds. And then you're going to put the pupil and the eyeball inside there. Okay. You'll notice when you look at your pupil, there's all of these lines in there and then a glint of light, your tear duct. Okay. Right over here, the same thing. Put that in there. Okay, we also have eyelids. So when I look at myself right now, I'm going to see that I have an eyelid. I have like worry lines around here. You probably don't have that yet because you are younger. Um, there might be a little bit of a shadow around here where the light's not hitting. You can put that shadow in and maybe blend it with your finger a little bit. Eyebrows are made out of hairs, and some people have really thick eyebrows. Some people have thinner ones. Mine's, mine are pretty thick. So go in the direction that the eyebrow is going in. Now, a lot of people freak out, and they say, oh, my God, how do I do my nose? My nose, my nose, how do I do it? So all I do for my nose is I make a tip, and I make two nostrils, one on one side, one on the other side of that tip. And then I put a line here and a line here. Now, since I'm older, I'm also going to put a line right over here and over here. That's another shadow. Now, lips are pretty easy. Uh, don't make a big smile with a lot of teeth. Try to smile with your mouth closed. You're going to see that your lips look like two mountains next to each other on the top. And then on the bottom, the bottom lip, lip looks like a half moon. Okay? Oh, it's a little big for me with my lips. So I'm going to make my lip a little bit smaller. Okay, now the shape of the head. Everybody's going to look bald like Mr. Cummings at first. So here's the top of the head, and then here's my cheek, and then I start to get thinner toward the bottom. So the bottom of your head where your chin is, is always going to be a little bit thinner. Okay, now my ears are lined up between my nose and my mouth. You have to look at the ears as you're drawing it. You're going to see all the ridges inside your ears, okay, all these lines. Here's my ear on this side. So that's between the eyes and the nose. And then I have, once again, worry lines on the top of my head here. Now, I don't have that much hair, so I'm going to actually, when it comes time to do the hair and the demonstration for the hair, I'm going to pick a student from the class to put the hair in. But if you're going by me and my hair, I just have a little bit on the side, on both sides here. Okay. My neck is about as thick as my head. Okay. So the neck has to be pretty thick, not a little toothpick neck. Here's my shirt collar. So I'm going to put the collar in. And then going off the page are my shoulders. Okay. Okay. Now, the one thing that I have to put in that you guys don't have to worry about, but just me and Frida have to worry about it, about it is our mustache. And Frida didn't even have a beard, but I have a beard. So I'm going to put the beard in right here. And right over here is the beard on the side. some manly chest hair right here, and then we have 
my glasses. So I'm going to put the glasses in. Now, am I expecting this to look exactly like you? No, but I am expecting you to look into the, um, the mirror image on your Chromebook and look at yourself. So you should be looking at yourself as much as you're looking at your own artwork. Okay? And then... I will show you how to really get into the hair next week and then the interests. Okay, so have fun. Enjoy.